Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Mr. White, and I thought I would um, do the last two examples from Lesson 2.2 in video format. You are to pull out your notes and you are to copy down what I'm doing now so you have it as your notes. And I will not be going over this again in class. We'll be starting on 2.3 on the next time we get together. All right, so section 2.2, we worked on it all the way up until we came to this page. We had finished that off. And what I want to look at now is example two. So write each quadratic function in standard form. Let's remember what standard form is. Standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we're going to identify the y-intercept, and then we're going to graph. So starting off with this, let's make it a little bit bigger maybe. There we go. So I'm going to distribute. So that's going to become x squared plus 7x. I'm going to distribute, and that's going to become negative 5x minus 35. And so we get x squared plus 2x minus 35. And that is standard form. So this was factored form. This is standard form. Okay, so we did the first thing. The y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept can always be told from the c value. And so the y-intercept... is going to be negative 35, and it's going to cross the axis at 0, negative 35. So we already know one point on here, negative 32, negative 33, negative 34, negative 35, right there. So that would be 0, negative 35, or, yep, that was right. Okay, so if I wanted to graph this, I know something else. I know my a value, a equals 1, so it opens up. And if I wanted to know a little bit more, I could go back to the factored form, and I could tell that it has some x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are going to be 5, 0 and negative 7, 0. So that's from the factored form. And the axis of symmetry. is right in between there. So it's going to be x equals 5 plus negative 7 over top of 2, which is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. And if I want to know the y value of the vertex, what I do is I plug this value into, now I can either plug it in up here or I can plug it in here. Both will be fine. So if I put it in, in the factored form, we come up with negative 6 times 6, which is negative 36. And notice that if we were to put it in here, we'd get negative 1 squared, which is 1. Take away 2, which is negative 2. Take away 35. So it's 1 take away 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 35 is negative 36. So it doesn't matter where it goes. Just to show that, if I put it into here, it would have been negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1. Take away 35. That's going to be 1 take away 2 take away 35, which again is negative 36. So either way, it doesn't matter. So let's put on everything that we've got. I've know I got 5 comma 0, negative 7 comma 0. I know I've got an axis of symmetry of negative 1, which is going to go right down through here. And I know that my vertex is going to be on there, and it's going to be right down here at negative 1 comma negative 36. And so if I needed to get a little sketch of what this looked like, I would come up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And I think I'm going to try to slide down and go up. And 
and this is your function and we can talk about it in the standard form or we can talk about it in the factored form. So there's example 2a. I'll take a pause and then I'll do example 2 